to that big-hearted Oklahoma teacher making headlines, panhandling for money on the side of the road to buy her students classroom supplies, raising awareness about the need for increased education funding. We're going to meet her live in just a moment. Even her dad's here. Here's her story first. Thank you. Appreciate you so, so much. Teresa Danks has been an Oklahoma teacher for 21 years, but today she's leaving the classroom and heading to the streets. Making $35,000 per year, she says she spends two to 3,000 of her own hard-earned cash for school supplies every year. I mean, we are begging, and you know, we don't want to call it that, but this kind of shows that it is. On Tuesday, Dank's taking matters in her own hands, hitting the road and asking others to fund her classroom, making over $100 in just one day. I'm not alone. I mean, we're all doing it, so I'm just one voice of many. Over 75% of the nation's public schools have at least one teacher posting a request on Donors Choose, a website where teachers ask for funding, and more than half ask for basic supplies like pencils and books. Teresa is just one of many teachers struggling from budget cuts, but still fighting every day for her students' futures. I'm getting emotional when people are like, your teachers like you are the reason I'm alive today. It's great to have third grade teacher Teresa Danks here live with us in the studio. You know, we're all remembering our teachers, every one of us right now. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I know this is not something that you wanted to do, you weren't seeking uh, this kind of attention, but it has brought such awareness. How did you come up with the idea? Your husband helped you? It was, yeah, we were just talking over breakfast and, you know, just talking about the budget cuts and just yeah. the seriousness of the issue. And he kind of jokingly said, well, I guess you could always make a sign and go to the streets like the panhandlers do. And thinking about, you know, my dad always told me, if you've got a problem, find a way to fix it and find a solution. And so I thought, this just might get some, some uh, buzz out there and right. get people talking about it and bring awareness back to the situation that's so serious across America. Across America, and your dad's hitting right here. Did you remember telling her that, to take to take action and not just sit back? Uh, hopefully we brought him up to, to conquer mm -hmm. the problems, not be run from him. Not to, well, she's, she, she's not running from him, sir. That's for a doggone sure. <laughs> I have heard, and we all have heard from so many teachers who have said they reach into their own pocket each Absolutely. and every year. And this is, we're talking about basic supplies. We're talking pencils, yeah. books, and everything beyond that, you know, anything with early childhood, especially that's through third grade, hands-on, project-based learning. I mean, it just yeah. takes a lot to do our job well and educate our children. Your, your dad said you don't run, but w was it a little scary being out oh, there? Oh, gosh, it was terrifying. Yeah. I told my husband, I'm like, okay, let's do this quick before I lose my nerve. <laughs> I was scared, but it, quickly, the support and the love. What was the reaction? What were people saying to you? People were just like, oh my gosh, thank you for doing this. Thank you for teaching. Thank you for, you know, just thank you, thank you, thank you. And the one that got me so emotional, she said, it's teachers like you that are the reason I'm alive today. And that really choked me up. Mm, it was I bet awesome, that. Though. And it started a Go Me Fund. Yes, we did. Yes, and we did. do you know, <coughs> over $12,000 already. $12,000 for your Go Me Fund. And you said, you know, we're part of this, you want to build a foundation because you know you're just one of many. I know many teachers reached out to you. What I do you want to do so with the foundation? I have so much support through emails from teachers across the nation. And so we are at this moment starting a foundation um, to try to, you know, get supplies into the hands of teachers across America. That's our goal. And so um, we have to have our GoFundMe account, but even as of today, um, you can donate directly into any RCB bank in the state of Oklahoma, any of them. Right to the bank, yep. and that'll go for the school supplies yes. and what the teachers, yes. what the teachers need, like that. Any negative reaction? Did anybody? Have you heard from anybody? What would you say to somebody that says, "Did you did you have to go to these lengths?" You know, maybe not, but nothing else has been working. We've got teachers picketing the capitals every single week, and they go unseen and unheard, and and you know we just get tired of of the empty promises and we want, I wanted to do something to make a difference. I didn't know it was going to make this big of a difference, but mm -hmm. I'm glad it did. And you know, I don't have to tell you, the difference an education makes in, in any child's life. Absolutely. I always say that an educated nation is just going to be a better nation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we, we want to help you out as well. We have some dear friends. <laughs> 
from <laughs> Retail you. Me Not. Thank so you so they have some supplies here awesome. for you. And um, if you reach into the little pocket there, again, this is from Retail Me Not. They try and help folks save money. Aww. So three thousand dollars that is going into the make it affordable for people as well. Thank so they try so and help much. me. With, so your final word here, Teresa, what is your message for people this morning? My message is whether you donate to us or you get out in your own community and just visit your local schools and just ask them what they need and, and just help out. Um, you know, and I, I want to get this message to the legislators in our state and the legislators across America that it is time to put America, uh, the American children first mm -hmm. and, you know, really get serious about education. What's the teacher that impacted your life? Oh, I had a great sixth grade teacher um, named Mr. Little, and he was like s over six feet tall. <laughs> Mr. Little? Mr. Six Little, feet yes. Tall. And I had a great mis uh, teacher named Mr. Mann in the junior high in, in Sarah Villa Junior High in Ca Southern California. Just awesome teachers that inspired me. Victoria Beck for me. She was in my, uh, at Nichols Junior High, and I remember she said, Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You got to have something you want to be in my classroom because I was cutting up. <laughs> and I'll never forget, she was <laughs> taking about the song from there. But Teresa, awesome. thank you. I know your father is very proud of you, and we appreciate it very much.